Okay, so on this question, without graphing the following systems of equations, determine the number of solutions and then classify the system of equations. Okay, so now they're gonna give us two equations. They want us to say if there's infinite solutions, no solution, or there is a unique solution. Okay, so how, how do we know? Without, without seeing the picture, how are we gonna know? How are we gonna possibly know this? Well, let me show you. If we go back here, here's the story. Let me, let me make this clear. Here's the different things that can happen with uh, two, two lines, two equate, you know, every time you have a, uh, an equation, it produces a line. So every one of these equations is a line. So there's three different things that can happen with two lines. The two lines can be like this and intersect in one point. It's all, it's all about the intersections because anytime two lines intersect, that's, that's a solution to both of them. So the two lines can intersect in one point. That would be one unique answer. The two lines can be right on top of each other. There, then there's infinite points of intersection. Two lines intersect at infinite points, call that infinite solutions. Or the two lines can be parallel so that they don't intersect at all, and that's no solution. Those are the three cases. Okay, yeah, so you might, you might say, I, I get that, Mr. Heron, from the pictures, but they're not giving us pictures on this one. Right, I know. But what we can do, what we can do without, without the pictures is we can um, get y alone for both equations. And then we'll know, I'll show you. So now this one, y is already, y is already, alone, so he's good. But for this one, I'll bring it over here. It's a 2x minus y is eight. So we're gonna have to get y alone. So what do we do to get y alone? Let's subtract 2x from both sides. Okay, and boom, we get minus y. It's minus 2x plus eight, good so far. Now, what do we have to do to finish getting y alone here? We got, we got, we can't leave that minus sign. Remember that, mi that minus sign is on the y. What is that minus sign really? It's really, you know, it's a minus one, isn't it? It's really a minus one. When there's no number in front of, of a letter, it's really a one. In this case, it's minus, so it's a minus one. So we got to get rid of that minus one. So we divide through all three. Remember, whenever you divide, you've got to do all three. Equal treatment, both sides of the equation. So y equals, now the two minuses make plus, and this is minus. Everybody see that right there? Right? Let me double, double verify. I'm gonna double verify. So right, these two minuses here made plus, and plus divided by minus made minus. Okay, so my point is, the second equation, I've rewritten it now with y alone. I'll get rid of this. It's y equals 2x minus a, right? Right here. Just bring it over right there. And what do you notice about these two equations? They're the same. They're the exact same. Once I got y alone the, in both of them, the first one already had y alone, so I didn't have to do anything. But once I got y alone in the second one, I said, oh, it's really the same as the first one. They're identical, which means what? Which means if I did do a graph, let me come down here real quick. If I did do a graph, what we would see is that the two lines, well, I missed a little bit. <laughs> Try to do a better job. are right on top of each other, aren't they? They're, they're the exact same line, which means they intersect in infinite points. Infinite, infinite solutions. I know the graph must look like that. How do I know? Because I got y alone in both equations and they were identical equations. 
which means they're, they're the very same line. Their equations are really the same. They're the same line right on top of each other. And that means they intersect at infinite points. So there we go. Now let's try the next one. It's just like it. So same kind of thing. You have to uh, get y alone. Get y alone in both equations. So in th this one, y again is already alone. So we don't need to mess with that one. But let me take the other ones. It's a lot like, lot like last time. Bring it over here. Okay. And then we got to get y alone. So here we go. So subtract 3x from both sides. Boom, boom. So we get minus y is minus 3x plus 10. Got to get rid of that <clears throat> minus sign. So divide through by minus 1, right? So y equals net. Here we go. Again, two negatives, positive 3x, positive over negative, negative 10. So bring it over here. Get rid of this and and bring it back. What's what now that we got y alone, it's y equals 3x minus 10. Okay, now, now we can compare the first equation, which already had y alone, to the second one in which we've now got y alone. What do we notice? Well, they're not exactly the same, but they do have the front part the same. What does that mean? What is what is that front part? The three and the three. That's the slope, huh? Remember that the slope is in the front? And what's the back part? The back part, the back number, let me change my color. The back number right there is the vertical y-intercept. So these two equations have different y-intercepts, but the same slope, don't they? Same slope. What does that mean when two lines have the same steepness, same slope? What would we see if I was to graph them? Do you know what it would look like? Can you picture it? The red line would be something like this. And the blue line would be something like this, right? They both would be parallel. Why? Because they have the same slope. The blue line would just be going through, would have a y-intercept down at negative 10. And the red line would be up here at six, because that's positive six. That's where his y-intercept is. But they would both have the same steepness. In other words, they both go three over one, three over one, wouldn't it? It goes up three over one up three over one, up three over one. They would both have the same slope. So they're gonna be, so how many points are they gonna intersect? They do not intersect, do they? They're parallel lines. They've gotta be parallel lines that do not intersect. No solution. That's gotta be no solution. Right? Parallel lines that do not intersect. Again, how did I know that? I got y alone in both equations. Y already was alone in the first one. I took the second one over here, got y alone, brought it back. And once I had y alone, I noticed they both had the same slope, 3x, 3x. So that means they're parallel, same steepness, but they have different y intercepts. So they hit the y axis at different points. So they're parallel not intersecting, no solution. Remember, how many times you intersect is how many answers you have. Now, the third one, let's take a look at this one. It's gonna be the same, same deal, right? So again, we have to get y alone in both equations. That's what it's all about. So get y alone in both. Get y alone in both. So I'll grab the first one here. Bring it right over here. So minus x plus 5y is, is 7. 
Okay, let's uh, put the wall of separation here. And let's do it. We got to get Y alone, right? <clears throat> y alone. So that means add, oops, two on there. So add the X to both sides like that. That's gone. And so we get what? Five Y is X plus seven. Okay, and then last step, divide through by five. Boom. So Y equals X over five plus seven fifths. So we got Y alone in that one. Okay, that's how we can compare them because we got to get Y alone in both cases. So let's grab the second one now. I'll bring him right here. And we got to get, or maybe I, could, maybe I could squeeze him in. Maybe I could just do him right here. I just put the wall <clears throat> uh, right there, maybe. Let's see if that'll work. All right, and then subtract 4x from both sides. Okay, boom, boom. And so what do we get? Y equals minus 4x plus 15. Y is alone in that one. Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to compare. So, so the first step is get Y alone in both, right? We always do that. Whenever we have two equations, we get Y alone in both equations and then we compare. So what do you notice? They're just like totally different, totally different. So totally different slopes, right? Here's the slope, here's the slope, slopes and vertical Y intercepts, everything's different. So in other words, if you looked at a graph in this case, what you would see is the red line, um, the red line does something like this. He's got a positive slope and the blue line is something like this. He's got a different slope. So they're just like totally different. They're not parallel. They're not headed in the same direction. So they're gonna have one unique solution. Does that make sense how I know that? Those two lines are not parallel. They have different slopes, right? This is X over five, so his slope is one fifth. And this one's slope is negative four. This line, the blue line's going down, negative slope. The red line's got a positive one fifth slope, so it's going up. So they're totally different slopes, totally different lines. So they're not parallel. They're not headed in the same direction. They're not right on top of each other. They're just two lines headed in totally different directions. So they're, they're definitely going to intersect in one point. There's just going to be one unique solution. So it's right up here. Here it is. There is, there is one unique solution. So we have three cases. So let's, let's recap how we do these. So what we do is in, whenever they give us two equations and no picture, we just go ahead and get Y alone for both equations. And once you get Y alone for both equations, you can compare them quite easily. Right here, we had the exact same equation. So that meant the exact same line right on top of itself, which meant infinite points of intersection. The next one, when we got Y alone in both, we had the same slope, but different Y intercepts. So same slope means parallel. Same steepness, but different points of intersection on the y-axis, different vertical y-intercepts. So that means they're parallel and they don't touch at all. No intersection points at all. No solution. And then the third one, we had just told when we got y alone in both equations, compared them, they were totally different. Their slopes were not parallel. One's going up, one's going down. So for sure, they must just intersect in one unique point. And there we go.